welcome everyone to my new video and this is little different this is the most frequently asked question in many different forums and even in my professional network people have asked me this question which one is the certification i need to pick up and do between two very important linux foundation certifications available today that is certified kubernetes administrator that is cka and certified kubernetes application developer that is ckad and i will briefly try to explain you about the content and the target for this one can have both the certifications well and good and you can choose only one of them depending on the upcoming work or project you will be involved in now remember one thing the reason why you do this certification is to mainly implement the knowledge you gain while studying hard for these exams so both the exams today is really hands-on 100 percent hands-on there is no objective type of question you need to attend it'll be the live environment given to you and you will have to work on the environment based on the scenarios given to you so it is a hundred percent hands-on only exam which means that you will gain an immense amount of knowledge you really spend time on preparing for the exam and the reason why you put so much effort and uh, clear the exam is to implement the knowledge in your upcoming project so you choose wisely why you need to do that and which one you need to do that so let's begin then now to start with the kubernetes administrator as the name suggests administrator it is mainly to deal with the overall kubernetes cluster right which means that in the control plane where all the kubernetes components are mainly installed and the nodes are deployed in a multi virtual machine kind of environment and you will be given options to really administrate them modify them change them do all sort of things now one thing which it doesn't do is that it doesn't ask you to build a cluster from scratch so you don't have to build the cluster the cluster will be available to you already built and then you have to work on it now while this cluster is being built they use a certain prescribed way of doing it that is cube adm but in scenarios when you have to build the cluster from scratch you might be doing by yourself not through cube adm because both of them works differently but you don't have to break your head up to that level what you need to understand is the overall structure of the cluster and the scenarios given you may have to switch between the machines to do certain administrative activity. So that is what also uh, is taken care in this administrator exam. Now CKAD is a bit confusing uh, because it has got some something called application. So it's the full form is certified Kubernetes application developer. Now a lot of people who don't build application or do not have the programming knowledge get scared by the name now i want to clarify here uh, that unlike cka where you don't you have to really can focus on administrator part of it here you don't have to do anything regarding an administrator station of the cluster which means that you don't have to maintain upgrade manage the cluster the cluster will be created for you scenarios will be given applications will be ready and containerized and available uh, and then you have to play with those applications so there is no need for us to learn how to build application okay so that part is not there it is mainly a devops activity so if you think that your application developers are building application containerizing them and putting it into a container registry the work of a devops engineer starts from there he or she will pick up that application which is already in the container form and then deploy it in necessary environments that's what we need to do here in the ckad 
from the difficulty side of the story, CKAD is a bit more easier than CKA. But if you come from the overall application development um, background, you might find it easy. If you come from the administrator background, the CK will be more natural to you. So you choose which one is one. But if you, let's say, are a DevOps guy, CKAD is the exam you need to pick up. Now, coming to the CKAD content, uh, you must always go to the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. That is the official curriculum page for both the exams. Now, I have opened the Certified Kubernetes Administrator page which is in cncf.io website so if you search as cka exam you will get a link within cncf.io you will see all the details given what kind of question you get what is the time frame how long it takes and including the sections under which the questions will be divided now you can see that it has got a Cluster architecture installation configuration has got 25% weightage. So one fourth of the exam really focuses on the cluster mission. And the major part is troubleshooting, which means that you will be given some broken scenarios and you need to fix them and make sure that they are up and running live during the exam. So this, you it covers almost 55% of the exam. So you can imagine that most of the administrative tasks are already covered within these two things, right? And then you have got curriculum overview, which is uh, under the exam resources. You have a curriculum overview section, which is where you get the detailed description of each section. This is in GitHub. So it takes you to the GitHub page. So the moment you click, you see that it opens at the GitHub page and you have got a couple of um, curriculum available. Now, we'll move into the other thing, but we are now focusing on CK curriculum, and it has a version V1.22. That is the Kubernetes version it will be using in the environment. So when you get into a Kubernetes exam, um, CK exam, the environment will be built using version 1.22. That's what this V1.22.pdf really means. That means if you practice in this kind of environment, you will be uh, having the familiarity of the similar command. If you happen to use something, let's say advanced or backdated, then some of the command you might not know or have seen if it is older, or some of the commands which are new will not be available. So you try to stick to the version while you build the environment for your practice. Now this is a PDF file and it is visible in the GitHub portal. And you can see that it contains all the details individually within those sections. So we have seen the architecture, installation, configuration. So you can see a bit more detail. Now, I have seen many people preparing for this, these kind of exam is that they pick up these points, the bullet points and start reading and collecting the resources. So Kubernetes documentation is very, 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 very rich. So you must rely on only on the Kubernetes official documentation, right? So that is docs.kubernetes.io. Um, and then in the documentation, you will find each of the section detail. Now, one of the claim which Kubernetes uh, Cloud Native Foundation exam says that anything which is not in the official documentation will not be having in the exam so the exam content is 100 percent documentation driven so if you study collect the resources and then practice based on the documentation you will have the most coverage you don't need to read anybody's personal blog or any stale information which is not official okay just make sure that you focus only on the official documentation which is most up to date and most relevant because people might have written blog two years ago and things might not work as is as it was written then maybe it was working because kubernetes is ever changing it is really growing and changing very 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 fast 
So you should only focus on that official documentation. Now you can see that it has got sections about storage, troubleshooting, right? Services and networking are the core part, right? And then workloads and scheduling also are the sections. That is about CKA, that is administrator for exam. Now you need to remember three things. This is for admin, this is for cluster management, and you do not need to install the whole cluster from ground up. Now coming to the CKAD, let me also open the curriculum side by side and go back to this CKA curriculum. And I say CKAD curriculum. And it takes to cncf.io. That's how you should always be referring to. And if you go little down, you see all the details about this exam. And briefly, it breaks down into section like application design and build, application deployment, application observability and maintenance, application environment, configuration and security, services and networking. And you can clearly understand that there is a common place like services and networking where also they are in CK and it is also here in CK80. So you might find a bit overlap between things, but mostly it is not asking you to create an application or develop an application. Rather, it gives you an application in form of a, a container and then you play with that container application, just like a DevOps engineer, how he or she takes the, the application code from the source control repository, builds a container and then makes it available for production. You will be doing the similar stuff only thing is that you don't, don't need to know any programming language. If you're not comfortable with application development, you are absolutely fine to actually appear for this CKAD exam. Remember that this is to me a bit confusing to have that application. Maybe we can propose something to the Kubernetes Foundation that a hey, try to make it more explicit rather than having an application word in between maybe something like a devops uh, something on that line how do you configure application in kubernetes cluster now one thing which is not there is that there is no cluster maintenance and management no admin activity is required here you will only focus on application and its component basic things like building pod creating a deployment creating a service and exposing that uh, service maybe um, in the Kubernetes in different types, um, storing the secrets, loading the environment variable, all of them are being discussed in detail in the curriculum. So if you go a little down under the, under the section where you have exam resources, you find the candidate handbook, and that's what uh, leads you to a bit more detail about the how the overall real exam experience would look like, what you need to do and all these things, but that is not the curriculum. So this is about the overall exam and this remains the same for both CKA and, and CKD. So you also must look into this to understand how that um, Linux Foundation exam can happen, uh, for especially for the people who are appearing for the first time. However, in the curriculum, you have that detailed description and it also cover and you can see that there's a bit version difference. So it is the CKAD exam supports version 1.23. So you'll mostly be using the client tool called Cube Cuddle, called Cube CDL. And if you have a cluster with 1.23, the Cube CDL will also have a 1.23 version. And that's where you will run most of the command. Now, in the real DevOps scenario, nobody does use Cube CTL in production to deploy a Kubernetes cluster. They use YAML file, automate that through some pipeline mechanism, either through Jenkins, DevOps, or GitHub Actions. So, but we are not doing those DevOps typical standard DevOps activity. We will be using Cube CTL command line to run the Cube control uh, command to deploy the application. So. It is a bit different than what you see in the real DevOps kind of scenario.
right? So, and you can see the sections are described internally. Same thing, just like CKA. The CKAD also covers all the internal component like jobs, cron jobs, pods, deployment services, and then how you um, monitor them. Networking also is their network policies, right? Ingress controller, etc., are there in this kind of setting and then how do you load let's say the user id and password to secrets config maps how do you define the coda in the sense like when you run an application how much maximum cpu and ram it should use within the container otherwise one application will eat all the resources in a single node all of these are typically the standard practice in application development are covered within the CK exam. So hope this clarifies um, why we need to pay, choose one over another. I have seen people working in Kubernetes picks up both, but especially if you work in a public cloud scenario and use mainly the managed Kubernetes, uh, either in uh, Azure or in AWS or in Google, you will not have an opportunity to do a lot more administrative activity. That means the cluster management, building the cluster by hand or creating a node and draining the node all those typical activities will not be there that much so you will mostly focus on deploying an application with a readily free available kubernetes cluster and you will probably doing much more in the ckad space rather than ck but if you are a kubernetes uh, service provider and you host the cluster on behalf of your customer then it will be more deep into Kubernetes cluster administrator uh, role, and it will play a much more role in the Kubernetes uh, custom resources and cluster management, draining the cluster, etc. So with this, thank you very much, and hope it was helpful, and try to clarify some of your doubts and concerns, and wish you all the luck for your upcoming exam. And this is fun to really clear this exam. Not only that, during the preparation, you learn a lot, which you don't get a chance otherwise when you work on Kubernetes because you work on a very specific activity, but this covers most of the Kubernetes features. So it gives you an immense opportunity to learn a lot uh, beyond your typical day-to-day -day job.